Yeah. We love your book, Life According to Freddie. Yeah. Well, According to Freddie Flintoff, to give it its, uh, its, its full title. Do, what is it? Just rambling thoughts? Pretty What's much. going through your head? <laughs> well, it's, it, it's quite a few stories when I play cricket, some yeah. of the stuff I've done afterwards on TV, in the theatre, boxing, yeah. whatever it may be. And then the rest of it is just like an inside into my head. Yeah. Do you know what I love? It's I, busy. I cannot <laughs> yeah. wait to get this for Joe because he's obsessed with conspiracy is it? theories. No, I love them. You em. are also obsessed with I conspiracy love theories. Do you you don't believe that people landed on the moon, do you? Not really. <gasps> I love it. Joe is gonna love it. Yeah, not really. <laughs> and also as well, I got embroiled in another one. I do a podcast. Yes, and we did a conspiracy yeah. theories episode and I spoke about flat earth. Yes. There's a podcast where people think the earth's flat. Yeah. And if you listen to it, they'll have you believe it. Are you winding us up? No, maybe? they're really Come convincing. On. Now, I don't think the Earth's flat, don't get me wrong. That's good. No. It's more turnip <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so we talk about that, because one of the things I think, if I don't see it happen or I've not seen it, I don't know. If you haven't yeah. walked off the edge... Exactly. Then who knows? <laughs> who knows? But I also bumped into Tim Peake, the astronaut, the other night, and Brian oh, Cox. OK. And I, was, I was with Paddy McGuinness backstage at the Pride of Britain. Yeah. And I saw him, I said, watch this, Pad. And I went over and I said to them both, Come on, lads, it's flat, isn't it? <laughs> what did they say? They looked at me as if it was a complete muppet. <laughs> <laughs> did they answer it, though? Did Brian they Cox just looks at me like, what? <laughs> and Tim, Tim Peake just gave me a smile as if to say, keep walking, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it that fascinates you about conspiracy theories? I, mean... I, I think it's anything that people tell you, which yeah. I've always challenged. Mm. Right. Whether it was coaches when I was playing cricket, I used to challenge them. And if I've not seen it with my own eyes, or I've not experienced yeah, yeah. it... I like that. ...it doesn't necessarily yeah. have happened. I, I almost... No, I almost <laughs> agree with you. I watched the moon footage and I think... Mm, yeah. <laughs> who knows? They've not, been, they've not been back, have they? That crosses my mind. That is Surely true. if you've done it once all this well, time, yeah. you'd be back and forth, you know, exactly. like Uber. You know, <laughs> 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 it's fascinating to hear that, you've been in, that you're in a musical. Yeah. You don't pull your face. Oh, no, but <laughs> if I'm honest, I can't imagine it, Freddie. <laughs> no, I was in... Um, I was in Fat Friends, the musical. Before I knew it, I was auditioning in front of Nick Lloyd Webber and her, and I had to sing a song, and I can't even sing. You can a bit. No, she A tiny she bit? Can. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, I watched League of Their Own. You love dressing up and singing. Yeah, but... <laughs> you no, love a bit of that. No, but on that, they give you a bit of voice match to look after you, but singing oh. a solo live on stage... It's a different oh, thing. Yeah, oh, okay, ruining yeah. a soft rock bag a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it daunting. I enjoyed it. OK. You, I mean, you do like to try your hand at, at everything, and, you, you've, you know, you've said that you, your biggest fear is not giving something a go, rather yeah. than, you know, letting yeah. it go by. And, obviously, you mentioned you were standing backstage with Paddy McGuinness. Reason being, of course, is two of you are doing Top Gear. That's Oh, amazing. Yeah. It, amazing. It, it really is. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe it? No, I still can't. <laughs> right, we did the photographs and then you stood there thinking, we're going to be hosting Top Gear. And, <laughs> you know, my, my dream job was to play cricket for Lancashire and England and yeah. I did that and yeah. I didn't think after that anything could come close. I don't think it's sunk in yet. We start in yeah. the new year. Um, did you know each other before? I bumped into him a few times. We, we're both mates with John Bishop, so I met him with John. Mm. Mm. And then we did a little bit of stuff um, during sport relief together. So is that where you were spotted, where your chemistry was discovered? I don't know if I've got any you... chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> or, or did you have to do I mean, he's all right. <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> 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 so that's in, a... And do a screen test, or did you yeah, suggest no, I, I to them? Like... I had to audition. Oh, so I had wow. to go and drive what a car. What did you have to do? Drive a car and do a bit of talking. <laughs> um, what car was it? Because you, you've haven't you got a Lamborghini, but you're too big for it. Yeah, I. I <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I, 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 I bought it, <laughs> and I bought one originally with an hard roof. But I couldn't... I had to drive like that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy it before you tried getting into it? Did you say, I'll get that one? Well, I'd, seen it, I'd seen it on the internet and then it was in Kent and I thought, it's a long way to Did come. Did you buy it on eBay? <laughs> no, I, I went to see it, but I thought, it's a long way to go, I'm empty-handed. So, <laughs> so I changed it for one that's got no roof so I can see. Well, the, <laughs> the Flintstone but, car, that's you really not with a summary, so you can just start you well, down the I can't, top. I can't use indicator left because an knees in the way. <laughs> and I've moved the house. Did the Top Gear people know this? <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't care. I lost my job. Sorry. But on my path, my path goes down a little bit, and then there's a camber in the road, and I can't drive Ooh, it off my path. <laughs> it's, too, it's, too worse. it's just stuck in. Garage. Finally, Top Gear's going to get interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Are you nervous though? Because they're massive shoes it's... to fill. And well, it's... not till you said that's this. No, <laughs> no I, I'm I'm quite relaxed about it this minute because you know they, they've taken me because for all I can do, I try my best. 
And there's that bit in the book where I'll have a go at things and... I know, but it's got such a... I'm not trying to put on the pressure here. You but really but have, yeah. It's got <laughs> such a fanatical fan base, yeah. hasn't it? And obviously Jeremy Clarkson and all that going and then Matt LeBlanc and Chris Evans and all of that, you know, I mean... It's a big deal, Freddie. Well, now you put it like that. But, <laughs> um, but I love that I mean, because obviously really I really it. want to take inspiration from this because you, that's how you just keep on doing new things, isn't it? You just push through and you have a blooming go. Yeah, there's two. And don't overthink. Well, there's two schools of thought, really. I think every day I'm going to get found out, so it mm, keeps you on yeah. the toes. Mm. And then the other thing is, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm not saving lives or anything. I'm, yeah. I'm doing a bit of TV. I'm enjoying myself and I'll go home after. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, I love Isn't it. it? Oh. Yeah. Um, Life According to Freddie Flintoff. Do you know what is the full title? Uh, <laughs> is out now. Thanks, Freddie. No, really thank you. Thank you. Thank you.